Hey everyone, Garrett from Tate Nyoko here with a new episode of This Week at Tate Nyoko. Uh, we're going to start off with our fit checks and today we are going to be doing our uh, outdoor kind of like a late fall winter setup fit check. So as usual, we're going to start off with Vinny. How's it going y'all? Uh, it's your boy Baldi. Um, we got the goose on today because that's the only winter jacket I got one with me ever since I moved here. Uh, we got the Beau Marche turtleneck. Can't go wrong. It's actually really warm, surprisingly. It's making my neck sweat. We also got the True Guy Solid Blacks with a 26.75 inch inseam. Shout out to all my short kings out there. What belt? Oh, the belt, the black thick seven millimeter belt to complement that. And then we got the Pumas. Can't go wrong with my big cats, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. Let's just take that phone off the hook there. All right, so uh, starting from the top, I have my Navy in situ cap, which I've been wearing a lot lately, pretty much every day. Um, and I have uh, a shot pea coat, and this is the new Navy color. Um, so I'm going to be wearing this a lot this winter, and it's, you know, super comfy. You can uh, put the collar up, down. You can also, you know, button it up like that when it's extra cold. And then I'll just open it up so you can see what I got underneath. So on top, I'm wearing a vintage cashmere turtleneck. I have the black thick belt. In the back pocket, I got a Naked and Famous denim card holder which I'm sure most of the guys today, yeah, everyone's got one. Yo, we got one. one. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's got one. Cell uh, Cordovan, fancy guy. In the pocket, I have my basic uh, SOG knife because I left my other knife at home. So that's what I have. And then um, I've got some top secret there. I can show you the little maple leaf, black true guy cut. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, but uh, we'll be talking more about these. These won't be around till uh, next year. But I'm just test fading these. And then on the feet, I got some Dayton uh, engineer boots that I designed uh, with uh, Japanese buckles on it. And that's about it. All right, all right. So we're coming here. Good to see everybody. Welcome back to the warehouse. Another lovely November day. I'm going to talk about my fit check today. I'm also going for winter theme. Unlike everyone else here, I got a bit of a splash of color. Those other boys were kind of black and blue on black and blue. So I like to start things from the bottom. We're going to start off with my Vans Custom Wides, which are kind of just like supporting the rest of the unit over here. We've got over here my classic, as always, every single day, never wash, over seven months, Elephant 11 Stretch True Guys. They are coming in just nice and going for the stack and the cuff double combo. These guys are coming real good. I can certainly get some cool fades over here. We got the card holder fade, which you know, my phone fade's coming in. And I don't know if you can pick it up, but I got my $2 for the lottery fade. Always stays there because we like to play the lottery over here. My lovely veg tan belt, all broken in and tan. Protecting my delicate bits up top over here, we have our circling tee in black. My splash of color is from the orange hoodie that we sell here at Naked Famous. And the PS de Resistance is my lovely MIJ10 jacket. It's keeping me protected from the elements. This is plenty enough for me for this type of November weather. Uh, I love it over here. Accessories, got a beer hat. Kind of sets the look for a little bit of a beer brand hat. Everyone's got some beer paraphernalia over there. If you guys are big beer snobs, beer nerds, home brewers, beer enthusiasts, or like you're just, just like your beer, let us know. Favorite beers, we'll have a real beer off in the comments over here. And of course, best watch is Casio. G stock GWM 5600. Thank you very much. Let's bring in the next one over here. We need a new gentleman to show off their sick fits. Sick Justin. Nice. Nice. Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. Very simple today. It's a bit cold today. It's a bit rainy. It's not too, too cold though. It's a bit warmer than usual. But because of this, because it's raining, I have my wool in situ crew neck on. I love this crew neck. It's fantastic. I was a bit hesitant at first about how light it was. I thought it was going to be too delicate. I think it's fantastic. It's one of the, my favorite wool sweaters I own. I love it. Um, on my legs, I have my uh, Ichiban, um, Ichiban Strong Guys, my Ichiban Salvage Strong Guys. They're fantastic. I have some Sorrels. You know, it's raining out today. I thought, you know, my Sorrel Chelsea boots with that nice 
like so. They're cool. And uh, you know, my ring, of course. The and ring. My, the the ring, yeah. ring. And uh, my Casio, my F91W. Also love this. That's all for me today. Hope you guys are doing good. Right. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? All right. So. Ooh, classic. Right. Interesting. <laughs> well, it's it's raining out, so uh, I got my uh, my barber jacket with the barber vest. Um, got uh, another vest from I Brooks Brothers, I think, um, with a simple T-shirt. Um, True guys, left hand twills starting to fade. Love those and uh, beaten up Converse, of course. How are the Converse in the rain? Uh, awful. I, I've, <laughs> I've discovered that they're starting to. There's a hole here. I found that out walking here this morning. So yeah, it's not not the best. <laughs> it's annoying guy, <laughs> Vincent K something. There you go. Yeah, it's from where? What country? France. <laughs> so you're dry up top, but wet down below. Yeah, exactly. So this, this oh wasn't planned, but hey. Was <laughs> All right. So next. <laughs> That's a great line. Um, a the bribe official here, Vincent. I have my um, Pam Pam vintage leather coat made in Canada. The circular knit t-shirt in white. Show us the back. Show us the back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. This is legit. This was lent to me by a friend. I'm not going to say it's mine. It just looks good on me. <laughs> well, he's never getting it back, right? Yeah, most likely won't get it back for like six months. I'm gonna wear this to hell. Um, I have my seven millimeter thick brown belt. We have the card holder Ooh, to match. Look how stuffed it is. Yeah, Let's dude, get that's the, like the, the cross section. Yeah, like you, you guys don't even know how hard it is to pull out a little card here, you know? Maybe don't pull out your card. No, definitely not playing on my cards. <laughs> how, how many cards do you think you got in there? Oh, probably maximum six ever. Right now? That looks like more than six. No, it's just because of this. And then now it's like all loose and stuff. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Like a bottle opener? Yeah, it's a bottle opener from Carlsberg. Yeah. And I was like, how sick would it be? You know, like cool party tricks. Someone's like, I need a bottle opener. I'm like, oh, you know, I'll just take it out. Who else has a bottle just opener? Your on the teeth. Who else has a bottle oh, opener on their person? The same one. Bottle opener gang always got our EDC bottle opener. Really crappy bottle. Opener. Yeah, low grade, non aerospace grade aluminum. Uh, they're, like, they're not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These these are definitely bottle opener gang. I got this from a trade show back in Taiwan years ago. This one's from uh, the Salvation Army. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pay for it? No, all my. I mean, like, I don't know. Oh, they, like, no. <laughs> they like they like they. Uh, what's it called? They send you stuff in the mail. And it's okay. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Here, take this bottle opener. You never know. Break. He steals. You, open a you never know when you'll need it. He steals. No, okay, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Don't give me that. I Wait, have the solid black salvage strong guys with some good seat fades going on. Did you ever tell the story about how you got those fades? I think I did, yeah. 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 And then oh, remind us, remind us for the people who don't know. The Ronald McDonnies first. <laughs> okay. That's a McDouble special. Value McPicks, you know? Um, the story of this, I it was raining and I was racing my friends on like this luge ride on Mont Chamblain. Um, if you've ever been, you know it can get pretty dicey with the homies. I tried to take him off the road, as a nice way to say it, but I was uh, slipping, ran into a barrier, didn't, Blake, uh, didn't break, went sliding, broke my jacket, broke my skin. Faded my jeans though, really nice. Not, yeah, my ego too. But uh, that's all for me, the bribe official, you know? Bro, right, right. Sure. Well, thank you very much, Vince. And this wraps up the pit checks. We're going to move on to a quick warehouse update. I'm just standing over here with the fruits of our morning's labors here. You can see this is just kind of an average day here at Tathanyoko. We have all these orders heading out every single day to die hard, delicious denim enthusiasts all over the world. So we're doing our best to get these jeans from this warehouse here into your desperate little delicious denim digits so you can enjoy this fine fabric life <laughs> but yeah quick uh, update over here we got a couple new things coming for you guys this week so this friday we are launching the new army hbt fabric and this is coming in like a pile of fits we got the classic super weird easy true but also we have chore coats and new for the first time ever in recent memory 
we have little zip crop jackets. They look really fine. Expect photos of those on the website real soon. We have our hardest worker here, Tristan. He just like, we're working him to the bone to get all those measurements on the websites and more on measurements later. So yes, we have that. But not only that, we also have the long awaited. I know you guys have been asking for this every live stream. The Elephant 12s and True Guys, they're here, they're on the shelves. They'll be ready to pick up and send out this Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern. You guys know the drill. So the Elephant 12 True Guys are coming along with all those lovely Army HBTs. We had a lot of fun with Garrett earlier last week uh, shooting some cool social media photos. If you haven't seen it, don't forget to check us out on Instagram and see all of his hard work. He really goes above and beyond taking those fun social shots. So what do we have next? We have... Terry's pick. My pick of the day? <laughs> okay, that's right, we have my pick. It's back to me, I catch it, all right, back over to me. So, uh, as always, you just stay right over here, Vinny, I'm gonna stay away from the sun. I'm gonna talk about the fantastic picks I get. I like to always start off with a quick thank you, a big thank you, a humongous thank you. Merci beaucoup à tous mes amis. A huge, huge thank you to all the cool comments that we get here in the order. So you guys usually go so far above and beyond dropping like funny stories, articles, um, and sometimes pledges of allegiance. That one really, you know, helped Vinny there. It really raised his mood over there. So we have some super fans of our super workers over here. And I just want to highlight a couple of the special words. Um, I want to say over here, Cam from Utah talked about my pumpkin winning, my unsanfrized gourd. I'm glad that someone appreciated the unsanfrized gourd. Yes, it did shrink in the wash. That's what happens with unsanfrized products. More on that later. <laughs> uh, yeah, quick thank you again to German in Texas over here. A lovely story about how uh, we do have a little gavage party without any medical degrees. That's right. There are no medical professionals involved at all, uh, but there probably should have been. And that reminds us, so the word of the week was gavage, all right? And if you don't know, and I like to kind of spread a little bit of knowledge over here, gavage is the act of force feeding, usually an animal fruit tube, it's often used to make foie gras in goose. So if you saw the pie eating contest last week, the gavage was the natural word that came to my mind. But we have a special grand winner here. So I want to do like a quick little story over here. I have a mega grand winner. It is Arif from Illinois. Wow, Arif. I want to start real quick with your story. Here we go. Just like the goose liver turns into fatty foie gras via oral gavage, the Naked and Famous YouTube channel is a visual gavage that feeds my voracious appetite for denim and increases the fatty spinal myelin neurosynaptic connections in my brain, thereby filling it with amazing denim knowledge. Love the video. So thank you very much. Arif from Utah, no, sorry, Utah, Arif from Illinois. We're gonna pick your order right here. I actually have it right over here. Excellent choice. Arif, he's getting one of the new Raised by Wolf Chorcoats. Mmm, super spicy. This is a really hot drop. These sold out in like literal seconds. They evaporated like so much morning dew. You're getting one of these delicious Chorcoats. He's getting, also getting a True Guy in the Raised by Wolf collab as well. Delicious, highly, highly coveted fit and size and whatever. So you must have been really on the ball here. And one of our latest releases, we haven't talked too much about this, but this is a lovely, lovely cap. It is a Yucca 10 uh, suede cap. This one, um, this is so fine that two people on our team have already bought one. Three. Three? Risa has one as well. Okay, Risa also bought one. So three, <laughs> basically we're buying, we're selling these to you, but we're also selling them to us. These ones are really, really, really fine. It's a lovely, lovely suede cap over here. Um, I think Tristan also Actually, has one. Four. Tristan, Tristan has one in 10. I'm not sure exactly how it's called, but yeah, the darker brown. Yeah, and, it, and it patinas nicely, it gets darker over time, which is yeah. uh, interesting. So, at this rate, you're more likely than not to find someone who has one of these working for us. So, thank We're you very much. We're also the only retailer in Sam's, the only retailer on UK10 for this hat. So, if you want one, you have to come to us. You know where to go. <laughs> All right, so a quick thank you. So because you had such a cool little comment and really expanded our minds and specifically the vocabulary and you really knew the word of the day, we're gonna th throw you this vintage um, pocket tee we have here in this lovely Japan poplin, also medium. We have a lot of pocket tees. We have tons of pocket tees, new fabrics every season. So Arif, enjoy your new pocket tee. This one's going straight out to you. Amazing, amazing comment and winner of this week's word of the week. Next up we have me, Garrett. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. So uh, we're gonna head over here. We got we gotta make a little space here, boys. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, just having a good time at having yeah, yeah. fun time. Camera, we'll cool All right. So, uh -huh. <laughs> as you guys know, I'm a big fan of the in situ toques, um, and because uh, I'm actually he's wearing the, yeah, the I'm sweater. I'm wearing the the crew neck. We have a few different items, but we thought you know. You guys really seem to also like the Institute in Tukes. They all sold out. So not only did we want to get a restock, we got a few new colors and we also got in some scarves. So let's take a look here. We got black. Let's, let's just pull one out. So me and Terry were actually looking at this earlier. So these are the new Institute scarves that just came in. If you're watching this, uh, on Wednesday, they should be on the website. And uh, let's just get a little close up here. This is 100% merino wool with a kind of a beautiful waffle knit texture. Has a nice little natural stretch to it as well. And uh, yeah, just a really premium, fancy scarf that you, you can. Us, uh, a nice you styling tip on it. How to, how to so, okay, it. there's multiple ways to wear scarves, but I'll show you how I do it. This, I think it's the most basic way. You just take it like this, divide it in half. Hold on to it like that, put it around, and then you can kind of like cinch it up like that. Look at this guy, he's just so ready for winter. Just yeah. <laughs> All this wool and cashmere, my god. Yes, wool, cashmere. Wool is the way to go. It is really, it really yeah. is. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, the new scarf from in situ. Let's take a look, see some of the other colors we got. Uh, we got these new, um, this one is the Accru, I believe. We got the Accru. And gray and taupe. We got taupe as well as restock of the navy and black. Oh, there's some more black. So there's the black one right there. And I think this one, this is the charcoal. So we have charcoal as well. Let's take one out just so you can see it a little better there. So we have all the colors of the Institute toques now available on the website. And then we have the matching scarves as well. So you can get the olive, you can get the navy, etc. So yeah, definitely head over to the website. Uh, you want to stay warm for the winter time with your scarf and toque and all the other in-situ items. All right, so we also got in just the other day. These probably won't be on the website because I actually have to take the photos for these. So probably sometime later this week or early next week, we will have these on the website. We got some new socks in from Anonymousism. So let's just take a look at these guys. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. The Skier Man. So this is a, a wool and nylon uh, blend. This sock here, we got a few different guys who are skiing. Oh, we got one with some deer. So good. Uh, some nice <laughs> kind of a, what, what would you guys call this? I'm thinking kind of like a Norwegian sweater kind of. Nordic. vibe Nordic. yeah nordic sweater christmas pattern <laughs> christmas yeah yeah of course christmas is coming up so if you're looking for uh you know stocking stuffers small gifts something for your co-workers family friends i think these kind of are a nice fancy little gift uh oh let's look at these these are pretty wild too i think i picked these ones out yeah me and bezad picked all these socks and i was like we got to get these red ones because i thought they're you know you know, you want to get that, that Christmas sock vibe when you go to a Christmas party. You got to pull up in a nice pair of socks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, we got some, uh, what are these guys? Some kind of uh, nice knit ones here. And let's go over to these. These are more of the more traditional ones. We got, uh, we got those guys, some of these splatter dye ones. And these ones really stuck out to me. I saw these ones and you know what it reminded me of? What do you guys think of when you see these? Uh, ice cream. Flesh. <laughs> oh, it's ice what cream you have. Yes, I, I thought this, when I, as soon as I saw this, I got kind of hungry because it, it made me think of like um, a Costco strawberry sundae. Oh yeah. Right? Doesn't that have kind of a strawberry sundae flesh. vibe to it? I Anyways. It flesh, honestly. So new anonymousism socks on the website very soon. So uh, keep an eye out for those. And next, we're gonna talk about, I believe, the King of Slub. Yeah. Right? I think so. All right, yes. So the King of Slub 2, 
uh, is going to be coming out not this week but the following week so we're going to have a little bit more information on that later also Bezad's going to put up his video so you can find everything you need to know about the king of slub 2 in that video but i thought since we have the time why don't we talk a little bit about the king of slub one do a little fade review as well as uh, the emperor of slub these three genes all say uh, share the exact same yarn the only difference is that they're uh, dyed a little bit differently so first let's take a look at the king of slub one so if you're an og you'll remember when the first king of slub came out it had uh, the biggest craziest slub yarn that we developed directly with the mill and as you can see the results speak for themselves this is a pretty faded pair it's pretty nicely done but i have seen some online that had even more intense fades so i'd say this is about 70 75 percent of the way there but there's still definitely more left in this guy let's take some uh let's take a close-up look at the texture on these uh these whiskers here yeah just amazing fading potential if you are a slub guy um then this is kind of mount everest in terms of the slubbiest jeans great detail on the knee here Ooh, nice stacking fades at the bottom i like that i like a good stack fade let's look at the selvage on the inside a little bit of fading there take a look at the back oh so one thing i did notice is the patch is starting to like rip off a little bit here sometimes we get emails people like oh my patch is ripping off it's not that big of a deal it's quite easy to sew it on you can either do it at home yourself with just a needle and thread or uh, take it to a tailor it'll charge you like five bucks or something but what basically happens is if this gets caught on something uh, it can kind of start to rip off on the edge here and it's a thicker patch too so anyways let's look down in the pockets here got some nice fading especially around the edge of the pocket here on both sides it's kind of cool you can see actually here how we fold the pocket in at the bottom because this fabric is so thick it's 23 ounces you see that imprint at the uh like kind of fading through on the bottom there Ooh, oh yeah let's get some some good light on these combs look at those honeycombs so again this jean is quite thick so it produces larger very distinctive honeycombs on the back all right so that's the king of slub one let's take a quick look at the emperor of slub which i guess you could almost call it the king of slub 1.5 so the emperor of slub which was a made in japan version um so we got quite high contrast fades here this was an indigo by indigo so it's a little bit darker uh, on the inside but produces amazing fades as well you can just see that great super slubby texture on the front and the back so let's do a quick side by side let's see here so we got the king of slub there we go <laughs> keep the light on it there we go before and after yeah so i think there's there's a lot of fading potential obviously and you can fade them even more than this so yeah just a really cool gene i'm really excited for these i'm excited to get them out to you guys to see uh what you guys are gonna do and i think terry wants to get a pair too yes so absolutely uh terry will cop because this is slub to the max um he's I... got a fever I have and a fear. Only one here. Yeah, I need more slub. So I'm definitely like these elephants were my first heavyweights, and they really kind of like ignited that hunger, that ignited that taste for me uh, for slub. So I'm gonna try these guys out as soon as I can, as soon as we figure out all the measurements here. So we have Tristan is working real hard behind the scenes. I'll just have you guys know because this is such a stiff and heavy denim, it is very difficult to measure. So he's taking his time. We want to really want to make sure that we get this right. Also super important we're going to be saying this a lot you'll hear this on the live stream you'll hit the video these are unsanitized jeans they will shrink they will become smaller so it's very very important to size up how much do you size up that's going to depend on our pre and post size charts so we guys we are working on this right now to make sure that we get the most accurate results for you but um we're gonna have a bit more like slub and that's not slub shrinking and non-shrinking content coming for you but just know that they will shrink 
size up accordingly based upon our charts and have fun on your super heavyweight, super raw denim adventures. Yeah. Three so pounds, three measure. pounds. Each jean is around three pounds. Three so pounds. Th yeah, these, these are very, very heavy jeans. Tristan, how's the measuring going? It's, uh, it's tough. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm wrestling with those. It's, it's quite something, you know, they don't want to, they don't listen. They don't just <laughs> stay like you put, place them. Um, but yeah, the, the, I guess, uh, I should show how to, uh, yeah, give us a quick demo yeah, on, on right, how to so find your size, how to find your size on some unsanfrized jeans, Vinny, if you could <laughs> get on the screen. All right. So when you, um, take your measurements, let's say you'll, you'll get to, uh, um, uh, say 34 inches so you see the pre-soak measurements uh, you shouldn't get the 34 inches of the tag size 32 uh, what you should do is try to find the the size here where it's slightly smaller so in between these two is 34 inches so you probably should get a 34 why is that uh, <laughs> these post soak measurements are basically the measurements of the uh, most shrunk they'll get. We wash them in warm water and then place them in the dryer. So that's the maximum amount of shrinkage you can get out of those. Um, and 33.5, you know, it's not, it, it's slightly smaller than 34. So what you should do would be uh, start by a cold wash, uh, see how much they shrink. If it's still a bit big, maybe do a warm wash. And then if, if you know, you, you want to shrink them to the maximum, then you go, the, you go for a warm wash and uh, put them in the dryer. Uh, the most heat, the more they'll shrink. Perfect. There you go. I don't know. All right. Thanks, Tristan. I think uh, Terry's got his word. Yeah. Today. So we're going to wrap up. So also, just don't forget, if you've ever used a size chart, odds are that you had your jeans measured by Tristan. Tristan's been with us a long time now, and he's done the majority of the measuring. So you don't always get a chance to see Tristan, but he works tirelessly behind the scenes for years. So thank you very much, Tristan. Thank you very much for your hard work on measuring the jeans. Thank you very much. <laughs> So I'm gonna close it out today. So thank you very much for another very special episode here at Tate and Yoko. So for all my, uh, let's just say vocabulary oriented friends who love leaving fun comments in the order. Don't forget it's the order, not the YouTube comments. Although we wanna see all the YouTube comments. I have another special word of the week. And this week we have a special word. The word is coelocanth. That's right, coelocanth. So if you know what a coelocanth is, like everybody know what a coelocanth is. I wanna hear cool coelocanth stories. I want to know everything you know about coelocanth. What is it? Where is it going? Have you ever had coelocanth? So there you go. Thank you very much. So a big thank you to everyone out there for watching the video. We hope to see you next time. Um, and we love you all. Enjoy your jeans and keep fainting. Take care, everybody. Got my money stacks. Oh, the stacks. <laughs> the stacks. I just want to show you off. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Ciao now. Bye-bye.